All right, uh, let's see. So where were we? Man, I don't even remember where we were. We're level, we're level 12, we... Oh, right, we did the weird, like, gopher mole situation. And we're good to go. We were hanging out with Coach. You know what, I'm just gonna, whoops, that's, that's a capture button. That's the wrong button. Notes, where am I supposed to go? Oh, right, we're, we're going back over here. We're going to the, um, we're going to the computer to watch a video for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. All right, let's see if I can get logged in. Ah, here we go. Let's see what this video business is all about. Welcome to today's lesson. Sorry about the video quality. Today we'll be talking shot height. By aiming higher or lower on the ball, you can change the trajectory of your shot. Hitting towards the bottom will send the ball higher. This can be useful for hitting over trees or stopping the ball faster. However, a high shot is more susceptible to strong winds. Hitting toward the top keeps the ball lower. A lower trajectory means the ball will roll for further, so use it to your advantage. Wake up. Did you really fall asleep while watching videos on the computer? The green keeper's looking for you. He's got some crazy new plan for something. I hope you don't take him seriously. What were you watching on there anyway? A video about golf. Really? Let me take a look. Why isn't Coach training you himself? Okay, well, let's get out of here. That was fast. Tutorial time. That is actually rather helpful, though. Like, here's the thing. I know nothing about golf. I really don't, so I'm actually learning not how to play golf from this, but I'm actually learning a lot more about golf than I thought I was going to learn from this, which is cool. Finally, you're back. I've been thinking about our grass problem. I figured the grass at Cheeky Peak Peak is simply magnificent, so all we need to do is follow their example. So we should go to... So all we have to do is entice a member to come here. Then, we'll quiz them thoroughly about the course. Get them to describe the terrain down to the very last detail. Uh, why don't we just go to the course and inspect it ourselves? Are you crazy? They don't allow rival greenkeepers anywhere near that place. How would they know you're a greenkeeper? Of course. We will go to the course under the guise of playing golf. I will pose as your caddy and investigate while we are there. It's perfect. Meet me there immediately. Well, this works. Uh, let's see. I haven't, like... Yeah, okay, I have all of my audio... Whoa! <laughs> the, uh... The slope information kind of came and went at, like, high speeds there for some reason. Well, that's fine. Okay. I didn't even know golf could have a story. It's got a story, a story, and the story's stupid. And that's why I like it. Oh! This one's got more disc golf stuff. Oh, no, that's gonna be a problem. A lot of birds here. Well, I guess it makes sense. Cheeky Peak Peak. Yeah, the the really surprising thing for me on this is this game has a golf has a story, and the story is surprisingly long. That look, you look like a go getter. Would that be right? Yes. Prove it. Go getters chip with their fire five iron. It's tempting to play the wedge every time. However. If you use your 5-iron, you can make a hole in that, uh, a run at that hole. Onlookers will surely be impressed. Make sure you hold ZR or ZL for approach shots. Okay. Huh. I... Okay, so we want to hit the bottom of the ball. I could do an approach shot. Oh, wait, no, 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 we've got the medium shot. I forgot that the... I forgot that the medium shot is a thing uh, that you can do in this game. So there is also some wind. Oh, crap. Uh, I messed this up. Okay, so there's some pretty hefty wind. So we 
probably want to do that. Or we could go... Actually, what if I go really, really low? What if I plan on rolling it? Pretty hard. Wind shouldn't mess it up too much if it's uh, all the way down here. And if I pull it back just a little bit more... Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of get this. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Areas hit 2 out of 9. Oh! By by hitting the inner one, we get, uh... By hitting the, the inner one, we actually get a, uh... A higher point total. Well, that's helpful. How many... Five hits left. Okay. That's cool. And slope to the right. So we want to... Or to the... Eh... eh. Yeah, I'm gonna undershoot this one even further than I did. Oh, oh, hey, hey! Did that did that count for three? It did count for three. Okay, that's actually rather helpful. Okay, I'm gonna keep hitting hitting the top of the ball. Cause that that is actually helpful, and keeps getting me uh. Holds in one, sort of. This is probably fine. Slopes to the side, so if I kind of angle there, maybe? I don't know. I'm getting the hang of this. It just takes some time. Oh, that's too much. Whatever, don't care. I mean, at this point, I could start aiming for, like, dumb shit. Like, <laughs> like anywhere I want. But this is this is good practice. That's, that's the thing I gotta remember. As much as I want to just screw around, uh, it is actually worthwhile for me to take this semi-seriously. Because I don't... I've been told I'm good at this game, but I don't believe it necessarily. Uh, and so it's kind of one of those where if I, if I take this about as seriously as possible, I might actually be able to live up to that expectation. So this does have some wind. So if I do that... That'll work. Yeah. I'm actually kind of good at good at this. See? Being a go-getter pays off every time. And, oh, jeez. I guess we are getting further in the game, so getting that much cash is actually not that big of a deal. Oh, right. We can... I forgot we can do that. For some reason, we can do that. Well, does she say anything else, or are we done? Being a go-getter begins and ends with chipping with a five, five iron. Everybody in this world has confusing standards and ideas of how life works. I... Uh, well, no. You know what? I'm not... I, I'm going to judge them on it, but then I'm going to realize this game is dumb and broken. We're just learning how to shape our shots here. You press X or something. Shaping shots is rad. Interested? It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad! Okay, so you have to try and hit around this tree. If you can land on the green, you'll get a point. If you also land in the marker, that'd be pretty rad. So, you can have an extra point for that. That's worth two points! Fine, you can have two. Okay, where's the green? Okay, so that's... That's the green. Well, we should probably shape the shot first. Shape it the other way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It's about as shaped as I can get it. Actually, we've got the wind here. So this is probably closer to what we want to get. Probably about there. This is not a whole lot of room for error. Did that count? It didn't count.
Okay. Oh, right, I could have done ball stopping too. Okay, well, this is fine. I... I'll make it. Can't even really see what I'm doing. Well, this will be worth one point. I was really hoping I could kind of curve it or something. I guess that's that's what I'm supposed to be learning here. Let's go this way. Aha! Okay. That's going to roll way too much. Damn it. I'm going to have to probably... Well, I might not have to redo this one. My ball shaping is... Uh, not a strong suit. Okay. Let's try that. I mean, all I have to do is get in the green a couple of times, but... Come on, roll back. No, not enough. Uh, well, it's worth a point. Let me see. So that... That kind of ups our chances. Pull this back hard. We do have wind down, so I should aim up a bit. Okay. There's... That's probably good. They do introduce concepts like... Uh, all of these concepts pretty damn well. Mm. It just takes some serious effort to, to get used to it. Okay, so if I do this... Up above, no. Eesh. This get this is messy. Strong wind too. Kind of want to aim it up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is part of the reason why it's throwing me off. The trees are the trees are hitting me. I, are the trees, the wind, the multiple other factors. A eh, giant nightmare. Okay. Eh, come on, come on, come on, roll back. Shit. Last last hit. I've got to get it in here this time. I mean, luckily, this, this one seems like it's a, a much easier go. Yeah, got it. Just barely got it, but that's okay. That was pretty rad. It's going according to plan so far. Nobody knows I'm a greenkeeper. You sure? You brought several wheelbarrows. Yes, well, take a look over there. Cheeky beak birds. They seem to be in a furrow at the moment. Cheeky beak birds are known to steal balls, but they aren't usually this brazen about it. It's creating the perfect distraction. Hmm. You head inside and book our round. I may be able to fool these people, but I'm known to the marshal. <laughs> this game is dumb. I made some paper mache balls for the cheeky beak birds. Perhaps if we give them what they want, they'll calm down. I'm still setting up my stall. I got a real nice collection of golf balls to sell. I can't wait. Oh, I wonder if we get a colored golf ball from this. There's a wicked strong breeze off this peak. Think you can tame it? Yeah. Yup, the wind is strong. See how you go hitting the big island. The more centrical you can get, the better, obviously. Okay, so we've got a... Whoosh. Okay, so... 8 meters, so we really want to just aim for, like, right here. Probably. Roll that, and... Bam. Okay. Not dead center, but... I'm on the... I'm on the right... I'm on the right path here. We just gotta hit it a little bit back. Oh, no 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 no
Okay, so 158. 20 yards. So, like, right here. If I had a ruler, this would make it really easy. Damn. Overshot really hard. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, we got plenty. Oh my god. 75 yards. I mean, it probably wants me to go, like, over here. That is... nonsense wind. Okay, I think I'm over... I think I'm over... over-adjusting a little bit. Okay, 13 yards. So, like, right there. Hold back. Part of it is I could... Oh, yeah, I'm overshooting a little bit. Yeah, the wind changed. I, I'm aware the wind changes every single time. Uh, I'm just not... Uh, I'm overcompensating for it. Uh, significantly. Not always so bad, but I am overcompensating for it a little bit more than I thought it would. Oh, damn. I, mean, I get the core concept of what I'm supposed to be doing. It's just, uh... It's doing some shit. <laughs> there we go. This is, uh... This is nuts. I like it, though. I, I like these, like, little challenges. Honestly, I might like the little challenges more than I like the, um... Yeah, I'm over I'm overcompensating really hard against the wind. Okay, so we want to just be back like here. Uh, but I, I think I like the challenges more than I actually like the golf itself. Maybe? Cause they're fun? They're interesting. It'd be really nice if I could actually like set kind of, sign a, uh, some kind of like bizarre ruler mode. That would actually probably make like a, a serious difference in uh in how to properly pull some of these. Yeah, so I'm getting it on target. It's just it's hard for me to account for the roll as part of it all. I've hit that center a ton of times. It's just impossible for me to act well, it's not impossible, it's just factoring the roll in plus the wind becomes problem. Criminy! Wicked centricit centricitally. But it's also one of those that I was more than more than within parameters, so I didn't have to worry about it too much. This cheeky bird keeps trying to steal my shiny baubles. Why did I think it would be a good idea to bring these here? Is there a reason to go for the bo birds? I I don't know. I'm just gonna chuck balls at the birds. Let's see what, let's see what they do. They might just run off with it. No bonus. Boo. Yeah, so it looks like they they will they will just always take your balls. They're exactly like the moles. I didn't know if they'd like run off the with the ball and do something special with it. Precision irons. Oh wow, I'm actually a lot wealthier than I thought I was going to be. Precision iron plus five yards hit straighter. Sure. I did I get it? Okay. Let's make sure I've got it equipped, though. Uh, gear. Because, yeah, I've been using the, uh... I don't know which is better, actually. I think the digging wedges are fine. Hi there! I'd like to... Wait a minute. I know you! I watched your golf video. You saw my video? What did you think? It was great. Coach never talks about movements in such detail. I had no idea there was science stuff in golf. Do you think you could take a look at my swing? Sure I could, but things are a bit hectic at the moment. We're short on staff, so I have to run the pro shop between my training sessions. Well, it's pretty hectic outside, too, with the birds. The cheeky beaks? No, what's happened? Are they gone mad? I better check it out. This is no good. 
They're causing such a commotion, but I need to stay and watch the pro shop. I can try and deal with the birds. Then maybe after you can give me that lesson? Sure, if you think you can handle it. Find the people they're bothering and see if you can help them. I'll watch over the pro shop till you return. This cheeky bird keeps trying to steal my shiny baubles. Why did I think it would be a good idea to bring these here? Can I help? I need to find somewhere safe to store them. He is absolutely enamored by them. Look over there. There are no cheeky beak birds over there. Perhaps if we can get baubles over there, the birds won't be able to get them. Well, it's our only chance. And be careful. These baubles are precious to me. Perhaps you could store them indoors instead. There's no time! I... This universe is broken. Inherently and horrifyingly so. Okay. So we do have to account for the wind. Which means I should probably use my irons instead. Pull back a little bit more. Yeah, because I was undershooting a little bit... Uh, a la the wind, and that was a bad move. Why are we storing your baubles over here, though, lady? Like, this this is a terrible idea. None of this... None of this reads good idea to me. Yeah, how will she get her baubles back? I... Sadness, mo mostly. Okay, so we've got wind in our favor pretty hard here. It's a little bit outside the shot zone. It'll roll in. If I get a hole in one, does it give me a bonus? No, it wouldn't give me a bonus. Even if I wanted it to. Okay, and no wind. I'm not sure if I believe that. But I think I'll be okay. <sighs> Almost a hole in one. Well, oh yeah. We did it! The baubles are safe and sound over there. Once I'm ready to retrieve them, I'll just... How do I get over there anyway? Well, <laughs> your baubles are safe and sound forever. And then some. Who else is... Okay, you. I made some paper mache balls for the cheeky beak birds. Perhaps if we give them what they want, they'll calm down. I'll deliver them. You are a beautiful man. Come on, then. You must deliver them quickly. We can have some groups. We can't have some groups become jealous of the others. Take this one to the bluebirds. I... Uh, is time-based? The hell? Do we, do we even know where they are? Have you had to actually... Oh, okay, so that's where the red birds are. Okay. Uh, here. Okay. Take this one to the red birds. I get it. It's not so bad. Take this one to the green birds. Who are where? Shit. Oh. I guess we're good. We did it. I think they may just behave themselves now. Alright, and I should level up from this. I like the level up system. They're cool. I it, it's cool? I don't know. It's a an it's a neat side thing, so let's I've been putting a lot of points in accuracy. I don't actually know if it makes much of a difference. And one into that. One into that. Alright, looks good. Eventually we'll get my uh, my distance even higher. But for now, this is okay.